A company that produces cell phones has a cost function of C of X, where C is the cost in dollars and X is the number of cell phones produced in thousands. How many cell phones should be produced to minimize the cost rather than the nearest cell phone and then determine what is the minimum cost to the nearest cent? First, notice how the cost function is a quadratic function, so normally the domain would be all real numbers, but in this case, because X is the number of cell phones in thousands, we know X must be non-negative. So let's state the practical domain as the interval from zero to infinity, where the interval is closed on zero, open on infinity. Next, because we want to minimize the cost function, we will determine the critical numbers, which is where, if there are relative extrema, they will occur. And the critical numbers are where the first derivative is equal to zero or are defined. So for the next step, let's determine C prime of X, which is equal to the derivative of 32X squared minus 1086X plus 41,340 with respect to X, which gives us 64X minus 1086 plus zero. Notice how the derivative function is a linear function, which means there are no X values where the first derivative is undefined, and therefore to find the critical number, we set the derivative equal to zero and solve for X. Let's go ahead and add 1086 to both sides. And then divide both sides by 64. Simplifying, X is equal to 1086 divided by 64. And since X is the number of cell phones in thousands, we will round this value to three decimal places so that when we multiply by 1000, we have the answer to the nearest cell phone. So going to the calculator, notice how if we round the quotient to 16.969, then multiply by 1000, we do have the number of cell phones to the nearest cell phone. So again, we have X is approximately 16.969, and therefore the number of cell phones is 16.969 times 1,000, which is equal to 16,969 cell phones. Now we need to make sure this is the number of cell phones that minimizes the cost function, not maximizes the cost function. And there are several ways to do this. First, notice how we do have a quadratic function where the leading coefficient is positive, and therefore the parabola does open up, and therefore the vertex is going to be where X is approximately 16.969, and therefore 16,969 cell phones will minimize the cost function. But if we wanna use calculus techniques to verify this, we would need to determine the sign of the first derivative to the left and right of 16.969. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take the practical domain and divide it into two subintervals using the X value of 16.969. And therefore the first subinterval is going to be from zero to 16.969, where the interval includes zero and does not include 16.969. And the second interval is from 16.969 to infinity. And I'll pick test values in each subinterval. Let's test X equals one in the first subinterval, and let's test X equals 18 in the second subinterval. And now we'll determine the sign of the first derivative which will tell us whether the function is increasing or decreasing over the interval. So now let's determine C prime of one, which is equal to 64 times one minus 1086, which we can tell is going to be less than zero or negative. This indicates the cost function is decreasing over this interval. We're going downhill from left to right. And now we need to determine the sign of C prime of 18 which is equal to 64 times 18 minus 1086, which is equal to 66, and therefore it's greater than zero or positive. So because the first derivative is positive over this interval, the cost function is increasing over this interval, or going uphill from left to right. So from here we should be able to recognize that the function changes from decreasing to increasing at X equals 16.969, and therefore the cost function is going to be minimized at X equals 16.969, which means the company should produce 16,969 cell phones to minimize the cost.
And the second part of the question is, what is the minimum cost to the nearest cent? So we need to be careful here. To determine the cost, we need to evaluate the cost function at x equals 16.969, not 16,969. So we need to find c of 16.969, which I've already set up on the calculator. c of 16.969 is equal to 32 times the square of 16.969 minus 1,086 times 16.969 plus 41,340. To the nearest cent, notice we have $32,125.97. And let's go and answer the questions as complete sentences. The cost is minimized when the company produces 16,969 cell phones. And the minimum cost is $32,125.97. And before we go, let's verify this graphically. Here we have the graph of the cost function. Notice how we have a parabola that opens up, and we found the vertex using calculus techniques, where we have x is approximately 16.969, which represents 16,969 cell phones, and the function value represents the minimum cost of $32,125 and approximately 97 cents. I hope you found this helpful.